what I've learned from uh, collecting over the past um, 20 years, um, I guess the one piece of advice is to buy the things that you like. When you think about what you like, one tends to focus and narrow down to what's um, essential for you. Um, so it, it might begin quite broad at the start, but for someone like me, um, we've been doing it over an extended period of time, it's clear that I've become uh, focused around one or two things. I use Instagram actually, I don't even have any friends on Instagram, I use Instagram as an art platform that I only follow galleries, artist fairs, everything that I like and when I go to the overseas fairs um, and I meet new artists I add them to my Instagram page and that's how I kind of keep track of what I've learned over time. The more artists you follow and the more you learn the more you want to add to your collection and I think if you buy the right artists over time they can be a big value behind the work. The art fairs play a significant role because it makes art available to everyone. It's not just your advanced collectors, it can be somebody just starting out and it just gives you access to the artists, the galleries. As a society, as a nation, we are the ones who can take our artists to the next level. And I think it's very important that we start supporting living artists. We must change the narrative about artists dying poor and then only becoming relevant or wealthy when they um, gone or deceased, so it's very important that we start buying living artists. As South Africans also that we start appreciating our own artists, not only start appreciating them than when they're outside of the country. 